uh, NBA playoffs uh, all the rage right now. Knicks score up one nothing against the Sixers. I told you from day one, this is an easy sweep. Jalen Brunson, who had a terrible shooting night, terrible. missed 18 shots, but made the uh, the big three there. One of the first times he was unguarded, really. Deuce. Uh, outside shot. Deuce McBride, Huge. money off the bench at yes. four threes. I knew it was a big part of keeping the Knicks in it in a very bad third quarter. Uh, but the game turned, obviously, on the injury to Joel Embiid, who looked fantastic in that first quarter. The way they do the rotation of Phil, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, is that he plays the entire first quarter and then sits out the first few minutes of the second quarter. Right. Okay, fine. That's the play where he kind of re-aggravated the injury to the knee that he had the torn meniscus on. I thought you blew it. All right, now here's my issue with this. Obviously, it's a highlight play. Everybody falls in love with it. Uh, Philly was like, yeah, that's our guy, thrown off the backboard. How about you don't try to showboat in a playoff game when you can't dunk and haven't dunked a lot since you came back because of the uh, concern of bringing 300 pounds down uh, on that you know, surgically repaired knee. Yep. But, you know, the ego took control. If he, I don't even mind throwing off the backboard to yourself. I respect it. It's a great play. It shows you creativity. He had nowhere else to go with the rock anyway. But how about just a little finger roll there? How about you don't try to show the Knicks up in their building, dunk the ball, come down with all that pressure on your knee? Because you know what you did? You just cost Philly an opportunity to maybe win a game in this series. They will get swept, which I said from day one. Uh, he's questionable to play tonight in game two of Madison Square Garden at 730. And he's got himself to blame and nobody else. Yeah, I mean, there was worries about his knee coming into the game uh, this Saturday because he was barely moving laterally well, right? Now you talk about off that play. And what's interesting to you, you, you said it right off the rip. When he started the first quarter, I was like, we got nothing for him because he started coming he down. He was dominant. And he yeah. started, he just, so he started leaning on our, uh, our defense. And I said, man, if B looks like this for the whole series, we're we going to have a problem. But that injury did, I think, cost him. Yeah, look, Timmy, I, obviously, I know in the moment it's maybe hard for me to ask a player not to try to finish that off the way he did. But you also have to be aware of your limitations. And this is a guy who's got a bad knee, but because you wanted to okey-doke it, he came down on the knee, and he cost himself a chance to win a playoff game. You know, it's not okey-doking. It's not showing up a team. Oh, that's it's, showing it's, a no, team it's up it's right there. He's just playing basketball, man. Oh. He's just playing basketball. And we, mm. we we always, or you all, always get on a player <laughs> yeah. for not coming out, playing his all, and giving his all 100%. Correct. So he's out there. He saw opportunity to make a play for his team. He made it play for his team, not knowing. He didn't know that he was going to go up and jump and dunk like that, but he, he saw Ananobi really in front know. of him, and he had to go up there and get the ball and slam it. This is just a play of the game that happens, and he was in the moment at that particular time. Last week, we saw him against the, the Miami Heat. We saw him struggling. That's right. We saw him laboring well. up and down the court. He was laboring up and down yeah. the court. We did not, I did not want him to come back as a professional athlete because I know that he wasn't ready to come back. Yeah. And it's showing that he's, he's and not ready And then they did something back. interesting. Yeah, we, he, he misses the rest of that quarter. Obviously, right. the Knicks take advantage of it, going yeah. a big run. Uh, the Knicks wind up having a double-digit point lead. It looks like it's going to be a wrap. Give him credit. Give the Sixers credit. The third quarter, they came out uh, different intensity, and the Knicks couldn't shoot with poop uh, in that third quarter. So the, the it's like these crazy swings. Down 12, up 8. Down 13, up 6, right? Back and forth, back and forth. But what's interesting to me about this is when he came back in the second half, he stayed completely on the perimeter. Yeah. He did not get into the lane no. at all on offense. And I'm saying to myself, if you're a Sixers fan, he ain't helping us out there. Nope. No. As much as he does have a nice touch and can knock down a three-pointer from time to time uh, for a big man very, very successfully, all of a sudden, you had a Sixers team that had five dudes on the perimeter. Yes. And uh, the stat I told you guys about that you already knew, obviously, going into the game was that the New York Knicks are the best offensive rebounding team mm -hmm. in all of basketball, and the Sixers in the bottom third from a defensive rounding standpoint. Bag full screen. Look at that, Craig. And that's Love exactly graphics. what the result of the game was. Yep. Second chance points, 18 more for the Knicks. Offensive rebounds, 14 more, and a total of, that's a huge number, 55 rebounds to 33. You will never win an NBA game. If you get out rebounded by 20 no. plus, Timmy. Well, I tell you this: you get, you get, you know that the Knicks was trending up before the playoffs. They was feeling their confidence. They was coming out playing. 
their type of basketball, Knicks type of basketball, right. hardcore basketball, in your face, Hart, Dimincenzo, uh, Bronson, then um, uh, Hardenstein. Now you got Robinson back. Yep. They, they whole team is almost there. And, and Anobi is there yep. playing great defense. Uh, so the whole team is is there. And you know what? And I and I, I'm a guy that likes my team. And I want my team to be whole. I disagree with Eddie House from last week saying that you don't want Randall. This is the type of game that you want Randall in. This is bully basketball now. In the playoffs, sure. they playing bully basketball, and this is the way Randall play. Is and this is how he gets off with bully basketball. Right. And he goes in there and makes things happen. So I want my team whole. They're gonna miss him in the long run. I will, I do think that the 76ers will get one That's it, in, in Philly. Just yeah. one. Yeah. They will get so one. I want to be clear. The Philly. question. But but but, Go but they gotta come out and play. Play. You know, you got Oubre. You got to do better than than like, than other game. You got to come out and be forceful. You yeah. know, Tobias Harris. You got to come out and be forceful. Yeah. They need they, they they whole team to come out and play a lot better to win this game. Yeah, they're not tonight. winning. I'm, I'm sorry, they're not winning a game. It's they gonna win a game. They gonna win a game. It's an absolute wrap here. You know, the only thing that was interesting uh, in that game was a play that didn't even count. I don't know if you guys even watched it, but at the end of the game, uh, Maxi took a shot from uh, half court. Yeah. It was after the buzzer, and it went in. Watch right. this right here. So this is off. Uh, your Josh Hart seals it. Game over. Knicks win game one. Watch what happens right here. Maxi. First of all, he traveled. That's all good. That's, <laughs> good. That's a travel. That's I mean, about a 55-foot uh, shot, and he makes it. Didn't count. It was after the buzzer. Okay. Why am I showing that to you? Yes. Well, the spread of this game went off. At Knicks minus four and a half. Four and a half. I might have had that. Okay. Yeah. Travel. So, <laughs> look at that. It's travel. Look, he's walking. Okay. That being said, he made the shot. No basket. If that basket counted, no basket. you lose your money. I won oh, my really? money. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know. Because it was four it was and a half. That would have gotten it to four. The I reason why he shot that. it. <laughs> the reason why he shot it after the buzzer, because he stats. didn't want stats. He didn't want to mess up his stats. stats. He knew. Yeah. He said, I'm gonna let this one second right after the buzzer. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it up there and, and see if I can make that. Yeah. So oh. but it's not gonna count. It's not gonna count. He looked like uh, Ray Frost. But they should have called traveling. Right they should have called traveling when he caught the ball and when he started to shoot the ball. Come on, man. That is Tim by the book hardaway, right? No one's paying attention. Listen, a foul's a foul. A foul's a foul. A foul's a foul. A foul's a foul. Travel's a travel. Travel's a travel. No matter the score. Travel. They're, not, they're, they're not, not contraveling, not contraveling on that. Everybody wants to go know? home. Everybody no, no, wants to no, go no, home. No, 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 no. If they would have called a foul in that particular instance. No, if they would have called a foul and the guy went up there and shot two free throws, right. then everybody would have been mad and bet. Yes. Yeah. So why not call the travel? It's uh, the same thing. Timmy, I'm with you 100%. Bottom line is this. Uh, it's a wrap for Philadelphia. No, they're going to win yeah. one game. It was no, cute, no, though. They're going to win one it game. It was cute that you took the lead in the third quarter. That was so cute <laughs> that, that was you adorable. did that. That was really adorable. Yeah, but that was yeah they were struggling. But you, like you said, like you said, the Knicks were struggling, but you know what got them over? It's the second chance points. Second chance Just, points. Yes. And Josh Hart, who's not a oh, great three-point shooter. Not a, he, he, yeah, he didn't points. want to shoot. No. Nope. In the first half, he didn't want to shoot. He they was begging him to shoot. And he made a couple of big shots. Deuce McBride made oh. his shots. And uh, Mitchell Robinson was a force defensively. Yes, so, yes. uh, game two tonight, 730 uh, in New York as the Knicks will take a 2 nothing lead. So, uh, if y'all win tonight, are, are they going to do the same thing? The yes. This is what we do, Tim yeah. Hardaway. You know why? Because yes. life is All short. Blue sky. And playoff wins Sweet are and precious. Sit. And I've said this a million times. I'll say it again so you hear me loud and clear, okay? <laughs> you have to enjoy the win in the moment. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.